And I had had bits and pieces of a book lying around like many of us do and journals and, and Google Docs and, you know, uh, smoke signals and wherever I could put ideas for a book, right? But they were all sort of, none of it was coming together. Um, and so I actually met an author, Morgan Whiter, um, who is in a previous cohort of this program um, when we were both speakers at, at a local event. Um, and she lives in Atlanta, but I met her here in Gainesville and I was blown away by her. We kept in touch. This was during the period I had set these goals for myself about a TED talk and a book. Um, and I and I was so inspired by Morgan and her work and her heart and her spirit and all the things. And she published a book. And so I asked her, you know, how did you do this, this is huge. I, I followed her author journey. And she called me one day and said, look, I know about your goals. You can't hide from me. <laughs> I will keep you accountable. Um, and I can't make you give a TED talk, but I can make you sign up for this book program. And a new one is starting in five days or something. And before I knew it, I was on the phone with Eric Custer having this conversation about uh, this program. And I was like writing a book in three days. I made a goal for myself to try to position myself to give a TED talk of some kind um, and or to write a book, both sort of lofty goals. And now I am kind of amazed and uh, to say that I was able to do both of those things in the last two years. Um, I did give that TEDx UF talk and now I'm publishing this book. I don't say that to be gross, but just to say that I'm really grateful. Is there something you would say that's been an unexpected positive you found from writing this book and just going through this journey? Oh gosh, there have been so many. And at some point I need to sit down and make a list. I've thought about this a lot. Um, I think it's just one of the things that comes to mind right away is that it was a beautiful use of time and energy. 